Well, I see Pi 1 Alpha sitting over there in front of the maintenance shop, so he's still working on it. Oh. So I I put my sectional away in my yeah. uh, knee board since. That's a uh, yeah, interesting pattern here. We don't need that. I don't have mine either. It's back there. Well, there we go. I'll prime it twice. Has it flown today? Uh, yeah. Alright, well, sure. Twice is fine. That should flown it. I'm ready whenever you are. Alright, I can start the engine with the door open? Yeah, sure. Alright. It probably will be closed by the time you actually that, get yeah, started. That's good. about a knuckle bone. And uh get Adis. And they have it already. It's uh, all two, two, power zero, old. At five. Visibility one zero. Two clouds at four thousand two hundred. Ceiling one two thousand over cap. Temperature three one two point two one. Altimeter two nine or nine or seven. Arrival will expect simultaneous visual approaches to runways 17 left and 17 right. All EFR departure of contact clearance delivery on 125.5 prior to taxi. Advise on initial contact. You have information X-ray. Great. Okay. Uh, One of the winds, 2207, yeah. I think. Alright. Austin awesome clearance November 6779-06. Number six, uh, seven, seven, nine, or six, off the clearance. Six, seven, seven, nine, or six is at a Cessna 152. We'd like to remain in the pattern for landings at either runway. Go ahead and start taxiing. I'll punch your uh, squawk code in. Set for takeoff. 
I noticed that when I apply full power, the yoke uh, will come back towards me. Southwest 343, gate 8. Did I fight uh, that or... Three, discretion, it. expect when went seven left. They're to push Southwest 343. Well... You're not really uh, trying to climb that initially at 65, are you? You're just trying to lift off at... Yeah, at uh, 50 is when I raise the uh, uh, right. nose. And but you, when I apply you, full power, this will come yeah, back. Yeah, that'll happen because there's a pitching up moment whenever you add power, and that's true in the air as well. Okay. Are you, do you find that you have to very quickly readjust the trim once you get airborne? No, no, no. This is on the ground, so I set it for takeoff. Yeah. And when I get on the runway and do full power, this will come back like maybe like that. Okay. But and then should I should I let that be the neutral position, or should I put it back you now until I'm ready to, to um, raise my nose? I would say you could probably give it a little bit of forward pressure just because yeah. you'll accelerate a little faster. But with the uh, soft field takeoff, which we're about to do, we're actually going to have the yoke fairly far back. Uh, so I'll show you that. But uh, my other question was that once you get airborne and are pitching from 65, do you find that the takeoff is on the trim is yeah, pretty close to it? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, yeah. All right. I think that's mainly what it's for. Let's just swing it around somewhat southwesterly. Right now, it looks like it's coming out of the northwest. But, not much wind. Alright. Yankee is current Austin altimeter to Niner, Niner 5. Did I get Yankee? Uh, we can get Yankee just to see what they say about the wind. Niner, Niner 5 on that. 4,200, ceiling 1, 2,000 overcast. Temperature 33, 2.22, altimeter to Niner, Niner 5. Arrivals expect simultaneous visual approaches to runways 1, 7 left and 1, 7 right. All EFR departures, contact clearance delivery on 125.5 prior to taxi. Right. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Yankee. Uh, let's get the wind. Oh. Curious to see whether they report Austin them out of the northwest. National Airport information, Yankee. 19530. Wind variable at 5. Ah, okay. <laughs> Visibility 10. Alrighty. Right. Should I tell them we have Yankee? Yeah, she can tell them we have All Yankee. Right. We're going to set the flaps at 10. And hold the yoke all the way back. Okay. So we're simulating being on a grass, a taxiway, and, and this a is grass field? runway. Yes, yeah, this is a soft field takeoff. Okay. So I'll I'll talk you through it. Don't worry, just call tower. Austin Tower, November six seven seven nine six is holding short of one seven left. Ready for departure, and we have Yankee. Yankee, 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 Yankee
Number 67700, South Austin, Tower Power, altitude 1500, make left close traffic, runway 17 left, clear for takeoff. Left close traffic, 706, thanks, clear for takeoff. Alright, just taxi with the yoke all the way back. And as you apply full power, you're going to relax some back pressure, but you're going to keep enough in to get the nose wheel off the ground. We're going to let it lift off into ground effect whenever it is ready to fly, so you're not looking for 50 knots. It'll be off the ground before that. Okay. Right aileron there. All right, full power. And give it a little more back pressure, just a little, to get that nose wheel off. Just sit tight. Without much wind, it takes a while to get it off the ground. Alright, now we start lowering the nose, don't fight me. Okay. We have to do it carefully because we don't have a headwind. Staying in ground effect. Don't oh, fight me, you okay, want to see that picture right there. Fly parallel to the runway, accelerate to VY, and then climb out. So nobody likes that picture at first, <laughs> but after a while you you do like it. Uh, I think okay. it's totally cool. Yeah, I see. I see what you. Okay. But right. you basically you want to come off the ground as soon as possible because it's grassy yeah. and then yeah. or it might be, might be snow or mud or rocks. Uh, once you're stable okay. in the climb and you've got a couple hundred feet AGL, you can raise your flaps. And now just, uh, we're going to turn crosswind at a thousand here. Okay. Normally we'd be uh, doing that at 1200. That's the 706, when able to start your eastbound turn. Eastbound. Hey, 706. 706. That's the cross, oh, yeah. crosswind. Okay, somebody's got a noisy mic. I hope that's not us. Nope, not me. That's not me either. <laughs> uh, stuck mic on tower is not cool. Push that in a bit. Alright, I'll start the downwind. Watch the airspeed. This is the 706, number two, following American MD-86, mile final. Extend your downwind advise when you have that traffic in sight. Extend downwind and we'll advise 706. Alright, climb at about 65. Alright, we'll be looking for the uh, American airplane. Southwest 343, contact departure, have a good day. 343, good day. Southwest 773, turn left, wind able, ground point, enter, have a good day. Left and ground, Southwest 773. Southwest 796, traffic follows 11 o'clock, 4 miles, 1,600. Uh, we see the traffic, 796. Southwest 796, follow at MD-80, caution wake turbulence, runway 17 left, clear for the option. Follow at MD-80, caution wake turbulence, clear for the option, 796. Alright, let's power back and level off here. Landing checklist, fix your power car beat, and actually you so let's uh let's don't pull the car beat on and do the yeah. stuff until that guy is asked us. Do you still see him? I yeah, I see him. he's right there. Oh, okay. They give him a little time to get landed and uh, off the runway. I still don't see him. He's right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, this this is a big blind spot for me right here. Yeah. Okay. So we'll stay above him. Stay above him and uh, give him some separation. Horizontal separation also. Because he's got to clear the runway. He's going to do it way down at the other end. Alright, go ahead and turn base. Think you can best start your beam procedures now. I 
saw where he touched down, it was a little before the intersection with Gulf. Actually, you can see the puff of oh, Yeah. Um, it was actually beyond the intersection with Gulf. But the smoke is blowing to the south. 1387 turn right at the end, ground point 901 off five today. Which is very interesting. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a tailwind. Uh, if we can, we'll do a touch and go. Sure. All right. That should not be a problem. We can even transition to a soft field takeoff. Uh, let's just do a normal landing. Okay. Tower Delta 2066. Yeah, stay a little high. Delta 2066, Austin Tower, Romeo 171. We're staying out of his way. Get your practical. Hold 60 knots. Two Hawks circling over the general aviation ramps, 200 feet AGL. Pull it down, pitch for level, a little more right aileron, right aileron, get it over there. You really need a little more right aileron now also. Okay, laps 10, car beat cold, car beat cold, get the yoke back, get the nose wheel off. Alright, once you're in ground effect, and off the ground, lower the nose. Don't fight me, that's the picture right there, hold it right there, I'm going to let go and keep it there. Okay, just keep it there, even though you've got your speed. All right, now climb out. You want to get used to that. Okay. Because uh, you don't want to climb out of ground effect until you've got the airspeed. And uh, lower uh, race let's, flight? Let's wait. Okay. You want to get a little more altitude and a little right rudder there on the... On climb. How's your trim? You need to give it a little nose down trim? You may need to give a little nose down trim on a touch and go because you were yeah. at 60 on your so approach. 706 start your turn out to the east. 706. And when you add power, the nose does pitch up, so you'll have to give it nose down trim to compensate. Alright, I'll count landings over here. That's another plane landing. be pushing you. Hard to say. See, you don't have your landing clearance yet. Number 7906, runway 17 left clear for the option. 1796 for the option, 796.
sign says uh, Southwest Wind. Okay. But really, once you're down there, it's the center line. You and the center line. Okay. You can ignore the wind sign.
382 uniform, turn left, enable ground, point nine one off today. Left third, point nine, sky with 382 uniform. my best to keep it somewhere between 60 and 65 okay and on the center line and lined up with it all the way down and yes do piggyback I'm not staring at the airspeed indicator I've got I've got it pegged as the distance between the top of the panel and the horizon So we're on the center line. Yeah. Actually, slightly to the right of it. Okay. Uh, flaps 10. Put the oak back a little bit more. Hold that right there. Right rudder. Right now, get the nose down. About a six second count to get it all the way down to level. A little more down. It's okay. Get some bright aileron in. Get over there on the center line. Okay, now you can climb out. Weird picture. At first, nobody likes it. It's very weird. And then at some point, oh, this is way cool. So, um, yeah, I see what you did with the landing. Did what was it? What did you, I do? You really pulled back towards the end. I did. I was also making constant adjustments. Stay on the center line, all the way down. Um, I know, and you are too. I think that mine are probably just a little more. You know, immediate, precise. Okay, flaps up. So come back and show me another one. Okay. And it is rough today, there's no doubt. It, uh, there's, there's thermal turbulence, that's really all there is, but there's plenty of it. Not much wind. But having no headwind makes it a little more of a challenge. It's all crosswind, and it's not even very strong.
got 796.7 I think. Good afternoon, Air Shuttle 20, sub 58 at uh, gate 20, we're ready to push with Yankee. Transmitting tower. Oh, I apologize. Ah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, not enough right aileron, yeah. too much left rudder. See how the nose was over there? Yeah. Okay. Right. And I ballooned a little. Okay, alright. Just let it lift off and lower the nose a tiny bit. Or, or get some right aileron in, get over there. Uh, you, got, you got your speed, yeah. so just climb out. Leave the flaps alone until you've got a couple hundred stable. And then climb. Alright. Yeah, I got four red. Now so you carried quite a bit of power even after you were over the runway. Yeah, because I had four red, so I added power. Once you're over the runway, and, then, okay. and you're low enough to flare, you don't need to carry any more power. That's probably why I ballooned. That's why I want right south. Probably. Okay. Right. Happy out. So be aware that the uh, the winds can get very weird you get close to the ground, they can sometimes go away. They find that you need rudder and aileron in the same direction, briefly. Yeah, but in that case, it looked as though you had already drifted to the left before the wind went away, and then you had too much left rudder, and you still needed more right aileron. So, center line becomes all you have. That really is all you need. Good 
This wind sucks as we have a tailwind, and that one. Some of that is just because of the, the whirly, whirly winds between the buildings. The last eight has just said light and variable. United 255 tower. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, are you still waiting on your numbers? Yeah, we are, unfortunately. Roger that. Cessna 796, runway 17 left, clear for the option. Clear for the option, 17 on Oh, this time on a Saturday is a pretty good time to do this. There's hardly anything going on. There's, uh, there's an airliner taxiing out right there. Would you there. turn left to Tango Ground Point 901 today? Left turn at Tango, contact ground. Road. Alright, your car beat's been on. Is oh. Alright, go ahead and pull your power to idle right now. Go to idle. Pitch up to the white arm. Laps 20. Do a short approach and get out of the way of that guy. Hold 70. Oh, uh, car beat on. Okay, keep it on. Grim for 70. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and make your base turn. And keep, keep the turn coming all the way around to fun. Hold 70 right now. Alright, we'll roll out. Because the wind has pushed us back a bit. Alright, 65 now. The trip for it. I don't think you're going to need power. Here's shuttle 2758 to with you at that uh, one from the right. Shuttle 2758 off to Terra Flight in 190 runway 17 right, clear for takeoff. Alright, full flaps. No power. Keep it on the center line. Start drifting left and then some right aileron. Little more right aileron. That's down on the right wheel first. Get the nose up. The nose up. Line up and wait. All right. All right. Lots of right ale around. Alright, flaps up. That uh, was much better. All the way? Uh, well, 10. Okay. Alright, get some back pressure then. Okay, on that right rudder. 
You're clear, start gently lowering the nose. Down some more. Down a little bit more. That's good. Hold that. All right. All right, that was better. Now all you've got to do is finesse the impact, you know? And there are two ways to do that. What you're doing is uh, you're trying to get some lift from somewhere to slow your sink rate right before touchdown. Two sources of lift. One is angle of attack, right? One is power. 7 or 6 when able to start your left turn. 7 or 6. 7 or 6. Not yet. You can get your flaps. I don't want to turn this altitude. Um, it did say when able. You can add a little tiny bit of power just for touchdown. The other left. Power second. Triple 14, 16, fighting 170, runway 17 left, clear for takeoff. Lower the nose 170 bit. heading, clear for takeoff, 17 left, Jeff Blue, 1417. Shell 2758, contact departure, Jay. Good day, 2758. I know what happened. I drifted to the right, and uh, that plane, the Jet Blue, said the other left. That was a uh, RP. Shock after information, Zulu current altimeter 2994. Well, once in a while that will happen. You'll get a little snarky remark. Some cocky airline pilot who has forgotten that. He or she was a student once. Chevrolet 1416, connect departure, bye bye. That would depart, Chevrolet 1416, we'll see you. Six wind, calm away, one seven left, clear for the option. One seven left, clear for the option, seven and six. Start your turn now. The wind on the ground might be out of the southwest, but up here I don't think it is. I'll come power now. Pitch for uh, 
60 to 65. It ballooned a little bit on the right hill run. Ooh, you bounced as well. Um, I think that you ballooned because you pulled back too much. Tower 37, 38, Austin Tower, only 17 left, line up away. Line up away, 17 left, official 37, 38. So you have to be very subtle about that. Here's where it's, it's more art than science. Yeah. I wanted to pull back more than before, but yeah, okay. But if you pull back too much and you still have some energy, then you'll climb. You could uh, start your flare a little sooner. You were a little low on that. Okay. That gives you more time. Channel 37, 38, traffic on the upwind will be more like crosswind shortly. Wind calm, only right, one seven left. Clip more time to the whole level flight. flight. I think zero. it's easier to make those Clip judgments. Traffic on one seven left, heading one seven zero. Shall be seven thirty. Power United two fifty five, ready for takeoff. United two fifty five, Austin Tower, wind calm, only right, one seven right. Clip for takeoff, heading one nine zero. Uh, 255, surface takeoff, 17 right, uh, heading 70 Austin Tower, wind calm, runway 17 left, cleared to land. For land, Southwest uh, 11 7. Southwest 11 7, I'm sorry, runway 17 right, clear to land. 17 right, clear to land, Southwest 11 7. Alright. 37 38, kind of departure, bye bye. I'm gonna try to make it more gradual. gradual. The transition. Alright, we're pretty wide. Well, we're actually low. Yeah. And I turned early. And, uh,. Yeah, that does create the impression you're wide. You still, I think, by the time you get up there, but well, you're correcting. Test 7 enter 6, wind calm, runway 17 left, clear for the option. Traffic 4 mile left base for 17 right of Boeing 737, caution turbulence. Uh, we see the traffic cleared for the option, 17 left, 7 enter 6. Uh, it, okay. Is he not going to... 255, kind of departure, bye-bye. He's not going to beat us over there? Oh, he's going to the other runway. Oh. At least that's what ATC says. I can't tell by looking at him that he's going to the other runway. Now I can't even see him. I see him. Yeah. I think he's going over... I don't know, actually. Well... Well, ATC should know. He's talking to him. Yep. Forgot that again. Test seven under six. Are you able to make a short approach? Uh, traffic to depart. One seven left. The bunk seven thirty seven. Affirmative. Affirmative. Seven under six. All right. Good job. Now power to idle. Maps twenty. All right. Hold seventy. Take the turn. Right there. Hold 70. That'll help us get down. The southwest. Yeah. Damn. Go ahead and start a turn. Is it 30 or 20? Turn. Okay. I'll hold up on the left. Okay. Just 
Just hold 70 knots right now. We'll slow it to 65 when you get on your fun. Full flaps and pitch up, slow it to Delta 4094, Austin Tower, only one set of left, line up away. Now let's stay on that center line, all the way down. left, line up away, south of 2094. Right here, Lauren. Need to get on it, stay on it. And uh, now, doesn't do much right here, Lauren. Take it out, quickly. Get the nose up, get the nose up, take out some of that left rudder, take it out. Yeah. Alright, lots of right here, Lauren, lots. So, we saved it. But did you see how your nose was pointed left? Yeah. Was that left rudder? That was nothing. Nothing. Okay. Well, then you needed right rudder. I don't know what I, what this takeoff is. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, it's a, uh, it's a takeoff with 10 degrees of left. Is what it is. Alright, I think we're... Yeah, you can pick yeah. that up. 706, start your crosswind turn. 706. Southwest 2094, wind 20, correction, uh, wind very 16, runway 17 left, clear for takeoff, by heading 170. I'll make it shallow. 170, clear for takeoff, 17 left, southwest 2094. Not real keen on, on turning that low. Austin Tower, left stripe 157, visual, 17 left. Red stripe 157, Austin Tower, wind variable 6, runway 17 left, cleared to land. Clear to land, 17 left, red stripe 157. Cessna 706, following an Embraer jet on that 4 mile left base, report them in flight, 2500. Looking for the traffic 706. Mile left base. Stay in the turn. Uh, do you see anything? No. There's a four mile left base, I think. That's the 706. I tell you what, when you get a beam, the numbers make a right 360 and then report us three established on a midfield right down. Uh, 706 will do a right 360. 706 will do a right 360. Thanks. Meanwhile, let's climb efficiently. Southwest 2094, contact departure, bye bye. Southwest 2094, we'll see. Uh, you'll see him when we level off. He's here. You can do no, not yet. All right, coming up and beating the numbers, we're going to do our 360. I see him. Right there. Okay. Traffic inside 706. Go ahead, do your... 706, I'll still need the right 360, thank you very much. 706. Alright, hold uh, altitude, you need a little more power. 30 degree bank.
the 7 out of 6 turn, base your discretion, when out of turn, report the Boeing 737 inside on runway 17 left. We're turning left base now and we see the traffic 7 out of 6. French drive 157, turn right next taxiway, kind of ground point nine. good day. Hey, I'm here, point nine. good day, let's drive 157, yeah. That's the 706, maintain visual separation with that traffic. They'll be departing straight out, caution white turbulence, and continue. Visual separation, caution white turbulence, 706. Top of 761, 1270 at 4, runway 17 left, clear for takeoff, lighting 170. Lighting 170, clear for takeoff, 17 left, southwest 761. I would start your turn. Test the 706, runway 17 left, cleared for the option. 17 left, cleared for the option, 7 Alright, so we want to be Up down up. And, and off again All for right. his liftoff point. Full flap, go down to 60, or not much above it. Hold the center line. Uh, just look out there. You don't need this. Yep. All right, idle. Great record. Eight other on. South of seven sixty one. Kind of departure. Bye bye. All right, clear. Right All right, now, yeah, seven, six, one, get switch it. to level, hold that, right aileron, you need right aileron, Maybe we get the nose up a little more, keep that right aileron in, uh, get the nose up, pull, 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 pull a little harder, take it all the way back, alright, a little bit of a scraper, but uh, not bad, you can always add a tiny, tiny bit of power right there, and that would soften it. Now, if we're trying to do a soft field takeoff, yeah, tower, four, five, you really want to see a back short of one, seven left at Bravo, okay. we're ready for takeoff. Yeah. You don't want to climb out of ground There's effect five, before you hotel off your speed. Tower, wind 260 at 6, runway 17 left. Clip takeoff, lighting 170, traffic on the upland will be turning downwind shortly. Okay, 170 on the heading, we're cleared for takeoff at 17 left, bound for uh, 45 Golf Hotel. Oh. They're really pushing us along with those big boys behind us. You feel that little drop when you raise the flat? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and make your turn. was a little bit of uh, floating towards the end. So I want to be at level flight when I'm at Woodstock height, right? So I flared before then. Flared uh, only a tiny bit before then. Okay. But on previous circuits, you've been flaring a little late. If you flare right at Windsock height, you've got some time. You can still see the center line perfectly, but your uh, control effectiveness will decrease because your pitch attitude can change. You can start to get 7 out of 6, wind or 5, only 1 7 left, to clear for the option. Clear for the option, 1 7 and 7 out of 6. 4 5, Golf Hotel, kind of departure, bye bye. Take care, sir.
163 Austin Tower, wind variable at 5, runway 17 right, clear to land. Correction, uh, continue for 17 right, traffic will be holding in position. Stop, 53 right. United 310 Austin Tower, are you ready? Yeah, no problem. United 310, wind 260 at 5, runway 17 right. Clip for takeoff, turn right heading 190. 17 right, clip for takeoff, heading 190, United 310. American 1505 is going to pull off to the side here, we're still waiting on numbers. American 19, are you on frequency? Hey, perfect. That's on 19 Americans pulling off to the side. You're next to go. Runway 17 right, line up away. Traffic 7 miles. You should only be a 20 degree bank, so you should start your turn just a little sooner. 20 degrees? Uh -huh. Tower Columbia 350, Sierra Lima, Austin Tower, hold short. 17 right, break takeoff. Columbia 350, Sierra Lima, Austin Tower, hold short. Runway 17 left, landing traffic. All right, yeah, hold short. Pitch up a little left. bit. Pull your power to idle. Pitch to 60. And then wait for Witsock okay. Stay on the center line, meanwhile. Alright, now pitch up. Hold the nose with gradually increasing yep. back pressure. A little right aileron, a little bit. Get the nose up a little more, a little more right aileron. Lots of right aileron. Okay, that was pretty good. We were drifting a little bit on touchdown. A little more right aileron would do that. Let's do uh, next one, Nick. Next one a full stop, okay? Okay. Because someone else has it at four, yeah. Four, if if they are going to fly. Couple twelve nineteen, wind variable at four, runway one seven right, clear for takeoff. Finding one seven zero for now. One seventy on the heading, one seven right, clear for takeoff, southwest twelve ninety. Uh, try to remember though that if, if you're going to be doing soft field takeoff, right, you really right, ought to do right, that. Right, 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 that was too high. Three five zero Sierra uh, Lima. Yeah, you ought to do that. Only one seven the left. left. Clear for takeoff. Or else just fly five. Don't have the flaps. Well, flight present heading or runway heading. At all. Okay, clear for takeoff. One seven left. Uh, runway heading three five zero. United three ten. Can I departure by? Take care, sir. Yeah. Alpha Tower, when he tells us uh, it's going to be a full stop? Uh, you can just tell him All right. right now that the next one's a full stop. And Tower 706, the next landing is a full stop. The 706, Roger. Alright, roll out. Turn down with it. You're waiting a little long to do that. As you climb, if you need to make adjustments. Columbia 0, zero turn left heading 130. 130, Southwest 1219, turn right heading 190, contact departure, bye-bye. 190 on the heading, departure, Southwest 1219, see ya. Contact departure, bye bye. Contact departure, see ya. Southwest to ground. Affirmative, Kennedy ground point nine, we'll see ya. American 1505, ready in sequence. American 1505, wind variable at 5, runway 17 right, clip takeoff, lighting 190. Heading 190, clip takeoff, 17 right, American 1505. Southwest 706, wind variable at 6, runway 17 left, clear to land.
65, pitch up, get to 65, get your next notch pass. Power back. And trim. Information off current at Austin, Austin, number 2993. It would really help to have a headwind rather than a tailwind. But right, hold the nose up. Hold it. I'll bring it up a little more. Okay, by the time I said it, you could have you should have been one second ahead of me there, bringing it up, and that would have been fine. We're on okay. the center line. So we're getting very, very close. Once you see it several times, I think they'll have it. Having a tailwind makes it harder. Definitely. For 7 or 6 turn, right your discretion, ground point, not one off, good day. Alright, thanks, 7 or 6. Get off, at Julia. Alpha Kilo. Alpha Kilo 706, thanks. Oh, uh, right aileron. First with the tailwind. I suppose it should be left aileron. No, I think it's coming. That windsock says it's headwind. Yeah, um, that one? Uh, that one over there. <laughs> yeah, what about I, that one? Uh, all right. That one down there was definitely saying it was killed. And I think that was probably the part of the difficulty that you're having is that when there's no tail, when there's no headwind. That headwind. In fact, there's a tailwind. Yeah. It's harder to hold altitude. It's harder to manage the player and touchdown. That says direct crosswind. A very line. Oh, you might be done. Close. I don't know. He's had it out there, then push it back in. Had it out there. Did you tell him about the the radio jet? No. I should. I see. Ground Delta 452. Push from gate six. Information Alpha. Drop a little note in there. 452. Austin Ground. Push your discretion for new one seven left. Push our discretion one seven left. Delta 452. That's fine. 
Cut the rest. Alright. Stop right here. He's waiting for us. Alright. Avionics off. Lights 